it. Like it just, yeah, it I just I just didn't, wasn't thinking that way, right? So it's training people to see waste. Yeah. I never saw it as waste. Like, because I just learned you work hard. That's what you do. Right? Put your head down and work harder. Put your harder. head down you work hard, right? <laughs> like, if something's not working, just work harder. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what you did. We went out to visit Husky Trust in Tennessee, where Austin gave us a tour of how he transformed his company into a two-second lean company and what it's done for him. So it was a really cool tour of how they build trusses and how they have engaged their team members. That's the big thing, how the team members enjoy working there. So take a look. So this is the jig that they use for making trusses. They got all the parts here and up on the screen, they can see exactly each part number that they need and where they need to put it. And that's how the jig over here is going to put all the stops. And so they just throw those boards on there, slide them against each other. The kit is already here for this job, this work order. So they just grab the parts, staple them together. And then uh, the roller you see over here, they're sending it through a roller to do the final pressing. It comes out on this other side over here like this. And that's where they will stack it. And with a forklift, bundle it and uh, load it onto a truck. So here you can see the, the presser or the roller, how it drives those uh, plates into the wood and compresses it and nails it together like that. Each piece has a part number, a job number and a specific part so that if a one piece gets broken or damaged, they can say, hey, I need another P5 piece and they know exactly which one it is for that job and they can send them another one or uh, build another one just like it very easily. And here's a two second improvement that the employees came up with. It's a mirror here. As they roll it across, they can see from the underneath side if it has been So this done is a lean idea. I've done this since I was a kid and um, I've stacked hundreds and hundreds of these, never thought of it myself, right? So especially on this first truss, before having this 45, you're dragging that and it comes to the end and it falls and it wants to rip your arm out. It's a hassle for you. It's mm -hmm. pulling on your shoulder. It also, if it's got a long tail, which this doesn't have a tail, it's stubbed right here, but if it had a long tail sitting out here, sometimes that would break as it came off. And that was just something that we fixed constantly. So, so now it just it. drags and, down. And, and, and Troy, a guy who's not here anymore, he's moved on to other things, but he was like, man, what if we made a ramp? And it works so good it's effortless now nothing ever breaks and i'm like oh my god like where was this I, when you were doing I, it i should have thought of that literally like 20 years ago but it was a problem and you just dealt with it like it just, yeah it i just i just didn't wasn't thinking that way right so it's training people to see waste yeah. i never saw it as waste like because i just learned you work hard that's what you do right? put your head down and work put your harder head down, you work hard right <laughs> like if something's not working, just work harder. Like that's, that's what you did. And it's just like, no, man, let's let's use our heads. Let's make this simpler. Let's make it easier. Um, and so getting everybody to think like that. And yeah, this is one of those that I just, I love because it's so simple. We should literally... So this is ideas and this comes straight from the team. You know, we don't, mandate that stuff somebody puts things on here again i don't i don't like mandating anything um, and then once we get it implemented it moves over here okay. yeah. simple easy oh so all of these are implemented that's Correct. awesome right yeah yeah so when do they have time to implement these 30 minutes in the morning okay so post Post morning meeting, whether that morning meeting ran for two minutes or 10 to 15, um, you know, they're either 3 Sing their station, making sure they're ready for the day, or if they've got one of these ideas, they're free to work on it. So the shift starts at what time? 5 a.m. 5 a.m., you have the daily morning meeting and then 3S, or do Correct. you have 3S and then daily no, morning meeting? I, for whatever reason, we've always done morning yeah. meeting first, yeah. and then 3S. I think because you know we previously had attendance issues or, or yeah. people coming in late. Yeah. You know who's here and who's not yeah. at that morning yeah. meeting, right? Yeah, that's uh, right. So we like that. Yeah. Yep. So you're, that, that, that you're taking out half an hour, and I know the typical thing as well, we can't afford to take out yep. half an hour of production, right? Yeah. <laughs> the guys here, so exterior line, and again, I grew up in it, right? Yeah. So I, I have, I have the, the luxury of seeing things over time. 
this exterior line, even, you know, when I was out there and stuff, like we were happy on days that we got a thousand linear feet of exterior wall. Okay. They regularly get 13, 1400 now. Okay. Just, yeah. just in the past year and a half. And half an hour less. And half an hour less. Correct. There you go. You got to go slower. Yep. To be able to go faster in the future, right? Yep. And, and teaching people to bring up problems. You know, not everything gets posted to this board. Some of it's just, hey, guys on the line going, hey, what if we move where we stocked our nails so I don't have to walk from here to the wall? What if we just brought the pallet right here so that every time I need them, they're right here? You know, it's a yeah. hundred little things like yeah. that. The small things add up. A bunch of small good things and a bunch of small bad things, they all add up. Sometimes just at this point just happen organically at the line, they're moving stuff around and that change on exterior, I mean same things happen on interior line. We used to be happy with a thousand feet, that was, mm -hmm. a, that was a pretty good day. Mm -hmm. um, right before I went to the UK, they did 2007 on the same line, same guys. Wow. And the fun thing is, I didn't have anything to do with any of this. Okay, like, I didn't, so I didn't, I didn't say that again. Up. I didn't have anything to do with any of this. What? Yeah. So who did it? Production manager here. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know about it. I walked in and found it. I just started back here. I was working here a year ago and I started a couple weeks ago now. And I can already tell like all this lean improvement. It's, it's made work so much easier. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's a good testament. You used to be here. Yeah. You came back now yeah. and things are better. Yeah. I like it. For sure. So it's harder to make mistakes now, huh? Yes. That's good. Yes. I, they didn't ask me, hey, can we can we buy one of those things? They just went, hey, I can mark that. Yeah. Right? And they just went and did it. And so why would I change that? That's their idea, right? And yeah. it works. Yeah. This doesn't have to be like to the 30 second precise because all they're cutting here is the pieces to brace the finished product. We put the bundle together, we brace it. That's what they're cutting here. So I'm like, this works, it was their idea, love it, you yeah. know? Use, use your wits, not your wallet. Totally, right? for sure. Nice, nice little catch for the reason. Huh? Yeah, they put that on wheels, that, that was a lean improvement of 100%. Again, there's more elegant solutions, but they built this box, so they put this under here and put the wheels on it. We walked into their office and uh, these two team members here had a lot to say about the courses that they went through, the certificates they would get for going through their learning clubs, of going through different books like Financial Peace University and Two Second Lean and uh, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink. And they were just telling us about how it has changed their mindset, their perspective on life and work and just has made them a, a more engaged and a better person at home and at work. And I love seeing that. Uh, Husky Trust is definitely developing and investing into their team members and it shows and it makes a difference in their lives individually and at work as well. It comes back, so great job. And it just, it's really fun to get to see the team come alive from that. And it's not everybody, but you know, we got a we got a good fire starter crew that um, is looking to make improvements every day. They're understanding how to see waste, which is the goal. We're trying to teach everybody to see waste, um, and they're starting to see it. Um, I almost like when they see it in those smaller ways, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, it's it's easy to see when those trusses are gray right yeah. there, right? Like that, that's easy to see this waste. But when they see, hey, when we're stacking these walls, we've got these blocks. What if we didn't have to set them in the right spot every single time? What yeah. if we just had runners that we could just set the wall down? Yeah. Like, that's cool. So, so why, why should a company do two second lean? If, if you had to kind of summarize it. It's, you're gonna grow engagement on your team. Okay. And so you're naturally gonna grow retention. You're gonna grow quality. You're gonna have a lot more fun. Um, it's just, it's, it's so much better than traditional like Six Sigma Lean. Okay. It's simple, uh -huh. anybody can do it, and you get a large engagement from the team, and if you enjoy building people, it's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm.
like it. Yeah. And as as a believer, that's a really big why for me yeah. is to, to grow people mm -hmm. and to create a great culture. Mm -hmm. And Two Second Lean does that beautifully. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome.